All right, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's VMP here. Welcome back to a little more of Clash of Kings. It's been a little while since we've had an episode of this. I've uh, been busy with Perizno and whatnot, doing some live streams, but uh, gonna get back into this series. Uh, I've done a little bit of work since the last time, made a little bit of money, got a, a, I think at least one, maybe two new enterprises. Um, still have the army. Okay, we didn't we didn't lose that in between episodes. Um, but really, what I was what I've been working on is I noticed I was like, man. Whenever I see the Westerlin army come through, like I'm talking the military campaign, looks like they got damn near 40 lords coming. But us, we got like seven, man. <laughs> Look at this. Not even, we have six. We have six lords here. And so I was like, what is going on? Like, did they, did they just have that many more troops or that many more lords? And to a certain extent, yeah, they've got a lot of lords, but we should definitely, we still have a lot too. We should have more than six in any of our campaigns. And so I went to basically every single castle in town and I rescued goddamn near 15 lords, broke them out of prison. And let me tell you, in this mod, it's not easy to break them out of prison because when you when you get caught by the guards, which it's 100% chance that you get caught by the guards trying to sneak in, um, at least with an army this size, you, all you get is a sword. No shield of any kind, just a sword. And you have to fight against somewhere between four to six guards with swords and shields and armor. So it wasn't easy. Spent a while grinding that, but I eventually I got a ton of honor for that. Like right now, I, I'm, actually, I haven't checked it out. Look at this. We're up to 63 honor, and we got a whole bunch of relationship with everybody. So still waiting for those lords to spawn back in, get their armies back. But I think that alone might turn around this war. Anyways... We finally got a successful siege to start against Tumbleton. This is going to be a big one. We have a die works here, so we'd love to get this town back. So we're going to help out. Uh, it looks like we already outnumber them 2 to 1. Or it's going to be more like 2.5 to 1 after we join in. Let's try this. We haven't done too many sieges uh, yet so far this game. So we're going to try this. Oh, baby. Oh, no. <laughs> it's one of the ones where we have to run about a marathon just to get there. Oh, well. That's fine. That's fine. So, guys, for those of you who have uh, who haven't really been watching uh, Prisno or watching any of the live streams that I've been doing, um, Prophecy of Pendor is going to be coming back. I'm going to basically it got shifted back a week because of the problems I was having with my mic. Those appear to be all fixed now. Um, now instead, it's going to just be this weekend. So Friday, I think I'm going to upload kind of like a trailer to it, so to speak. Yeah, I guess that's the best word to kind of describe it. And then Saturday, we're actually going to start uploading it. My goal is to have at least three episodes out for you guys. Although, honestly, I feel bad that it, that has been so long and that I've made you guys wait. So I might make it more like four episodes on Saturday for you guys. That'll be kind of nuts. But I think it'll be a lot of fun. And I'm sure you guys will manage to hit the light goal for all of them. I, I probably need to raise it from 100 to like 150 or 200. Because you guys... Smash through 100 likes in like 30 minutes. And the and the episode's like 45 minutes long. So <laughs> none of you have finished watching it in its uh, entirety at least. All right. So we're still charging in. Haven't really lost anybody. Uh, do we have archers? No, we have one archer. And I think that's our one hero. Okay. Well, he can just hang out, right? Yeah, that's our hero. Our hero's the only archer here. Okay, cool. What are the odds looking like here? It's actually pretty even, 56 to 45. So numbers at least, it's pretty fair right now. Yeah, Garrett Longley. Actually, we can move him up a little bit. I don't know how accurate he is with his bow, so we'll have him uh, get close. And I don't think the their archers are really going to be targeting him, not while they have all of us, all of our juicy little uh, exposed heads. All right. So far, not going too great. <laughs> Not going too great. Is this going to be an example where I should have just let the auto battle decide this? Because that's what it's seeming like. Jesus Christ. Guys. Guys. It's really not that complicated. You just use your weapons and you cut through them. That's all, all there is to it. Like there, there are archer jacks. Did a little bit of work against us. Okay. There we go. Lord Bortimer Crane. Finally taking out a, one of their dudes. Okay. There's another one. Alright. Alright. It might be okay. They did have, all right, it looks like they have some Westerland Knights. They have some heavy, some heavy infantry and whatnot up front there. So it'll be a little tough. Ooh, Randall Tarly goes down. He's the dude with the Valyrian Steel Blade. We kind of wanted him to stay up. 
I like order these guys to stand back down and let me get through this. I might do that. Hi, right, lads. Well, maybe not. It won't let me move this away. Everybody, sit down. Sit down a little bit. Let me um. Let me show you how you break through a wall of infantry. I'm totally about to get my ass kicked right now. I already know that's about to happen, but that's alright. Alright, we're just getting a few more. Ouch. Where am I even getting shot? Oh, it's those guys. Oh, shit. Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go. Move up, move up, move up, move up. We gotta go in now. Gotta go in now. Good work on this knight here. He's tough. Definitely tough. They realize a heavy knight, that's why. Yo, another one. We're talking about this is how we Oh man. Yeah, we should have yeah, we should've we should have been up front from the beginning. We lost a lot of troops because of that shit. Ouch, alright, I need to get to these archers fucking ASAP, bro. Come on, ASAP, no Rocky, let's go. Come on. Cool. Alright, let me just get to these archers, take them out. I'll leave more up in that heap too. Down goes one. Down goes two. Think I didn't see you over there, buddy? Think I didn't see you over there? Just shanked. Yeah, alright. This is going a lot better now. Cool, cool. Alright. Yeah, I mean, let's be honest. We're playing on the maximum difficulty. Um. It would most likely be better if we just let this auto battle, but um, I I, <laughs> I wanted to get in on siege. We haven't been in one on ages, so seriously. Stupid wall keeps on getting in the way. There we go. Awesome. All right, all the archers on this side are. Well, I thought they were gone. Looking on the minimap, it makes it seem like there's more of them. Vortimer Crane's still up and doing work. That's good to see. We're very low now, though. We're very hurt. Alright, well. Let's see that. So people are... Like, on the battle map, it looks like there's people underneath. I wonder, is there, like, a, underneath this, is there a little, like... Little, like, keep thing? Are the archers on, like, the, the bottom floor down there? Like, shooting through little holes? what's going on it has to be we just walked straight over a bunch of enemies according to the battle map. Huh. all right well whatever we'll worry about them later lord vortimer still doing work what a champ he probably has more kills than i do it's not easy oh jesus look at this cluster party get shanked okay, not so many boys down here actually I'm trying to get surrounded, so we're gonna take him out from behind. There we go. This guy knows about us. Didn't help much. Oh no, that was actually his, uh, his friend that we took out there. Come on, more shanks. More shanks. Shoss shank redemption in this bitch. Come on. Oh, come on. Good. Oh. Oops, lost our first of three shields. Here we go, get the fuck out of here. Okay, that's a few more lads. It's weird how some of them are aggroed on me, but some of them are. We've been pretty good. It was really the archers that were doing damage to us. These guys. Oh, I forgot, man. It's been so long since I've played this, I forgot about the stumble and fall mechanics. Jesus, how revolutionary putting those into the game. Gotta love them. I get him out of there. I look good so far. Looks like we're gonna reinforcement wave our first one. I mean, shit. They've had a couple reinforcement waves now, so we're still doing good. There we go. I and mean, for the most part, their blows just bounce off of us. Amelia Rain, thick as fuck. She doesn't feel that shit. <laughs> I 
can't wait for Bandlord when you can actually design your character models. You better believe we're about to like make some thick ass chicks. Have fucking Kim Kardashian taking over Cal Radio. <laughs> oh man. Who knows what's even gonna be possible? It might be more just uh you know, general oh, are they fat? Are they muscular? What do they look like? Alright, down to our last shield. What are we gonna do? Pick up a couple more shields, that's what we're gonna do. And we're right back in it. Jesus, how many of these We've only killed seventy-eight of them? Fuck man, we're doing like all the work. We've, I mean, we have had to have taken out at least, like, half of those, right? Maybe I'm just way overvaluing our contribution to this battle so far. It's definitely possible. It probably is. We've probably taken out closer to 20 of them. It just feels like a lot. But I don't think we're that high of a level yet, so aren't we? Eh, 27, actually. We're starting to get up there. Oh, hello. Okay, didn't even notice the new reinforcement wave, and they did not seem to notice me either. Don't mind me, boys. Just sneaking on past you. Oh, shit. Okay. Didn't think there were more of them. Ooh. Oh, no, we're good. I thought we took a bunch of damage there. We did not. We just stumbled and fell again. Oh, that one hurt. That one actually hurt. He got us with the stab there. It's the one thing that can really get through our armor is piercing damage at this point. It's so weird having, like, base essentially the best armor in the game this early on. Like, I think the only thing that technically is better is, like, maybe you can get some armor from the White Walkers. But I'm, I may be confusing this mod with the World of Ice and Fire. Otherwise, this is essentially the best armor in the game. Oh no, they got me with a stab. And that is it for us, unfortunately. Alright, that was pretty good, though. Took out about half of them. So we'll go ahead. It looks like the kill feed is still generally in our favor. So we'll let our boys handle it. We definitely don't want to retreat and come back in because that's when we take most of our casualties is in the first part of the fight. So I'll be back in a sec when this is all over. Hey, there we go. That, uh, hang a line. Took a little while. Took a little while. And the, <laughs> the fight still finished right over there. So let's see. We only lost one guy. So um, <laughs> I think that's a pretty good uh, outcome for that. Allies lost. 24, which not nearly as many as it felt like. Oh my god, not nearly as many at all. So we took out 43. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's about, I mean, that was about half by the time we got knocked out. Good stuff right there. Letting our name be known, and we didn't get anything from it. Well, that's cool. Sons of bitches. Alright, no, that's cool. I see how it is. Alright, it's at least good to be... Or it's at least good to have another town back. Oh my god, I got 17 Gs. That's the other thing I was doing. I was doing a lot of raiding of towns as well. We got our oil press back. Let's check out the tavern. See if there's any guys in here we can hire. Uh, picked up, found a Berengar Perrin. I, I don't even remember hiring him earlier on in the series, but he was uh, being held captive by the Westland, so picked him back up. So that's a thing now. Uh, what do we got here? Ransom broke. I, do I even have any? No, I don't have any prisoners on well, that was that. That's a good little win for us, though. Definitely a good little win, though. Um, let's see. What do we want to do right now? 66 right here. This dude's kind of a scrub. But, that being said, you never want to fight them on an open battlefield. That's just a poor choice. Okay, they're fighting over here. That's going to be a no from me. I mean, you guys are welcome to... Yeah, that's going to be a no from me. <laughs> that's too many Swadian Knights on the battlefield. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. We'll run. All right, so let's get out of here. Stormlands declared war against Westlands. Awesome. That's exactly what we need because the Riverlands made peace with them. That's not what we need. Who will actually? Who are they at war with right now? Um. So they are still at war with the North. Now with the Stormlands and with us. Oh, for I mean that's <laughs> not really all that important. But okay, so they're getting flanked a little bit. Um, the North actually took Fair Market from them. They still have lost Barathon, although it looks like they might be taking it right now. Jesus Christ. Did you guys hear that lightning strike? Oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit, that was loud. 
I just was not expecting it because there hadn't been any thunder up until that point. Oh, man. Oh, they took Winterfell, too? And High Point and the Dreadfort? Oh, my God. All right, the North actually has, has been getting the shit kicked out of them. They need to uh, fire back a little bit. Stop taking the Bane Fort. Stop taking these little shits to get, get the North back and then worry about that. Because they also have to worry about the uh, the free folk coming down, I'm sure. Anyways, let's keep on moving down here. Let's see if we can flank around a little bit. A lot of the Swadian, or not Swadian, a lot of the Westerlin Lords should be drawn over here. So that should give us the opportunity to hop on over here and maybe pop one of these. Although these are most of the most of the little villages that I have been looting uh, in between episodes. But I don't know. Might, might be able to catch one off guards. At this point, I think I want to start saving up for us to get... For us to get a uh, Valyrian seal sword. I think that's the next big move for us. And they're already besieging Tuppleton. Well. That's lasted long. Uh, but as you can see, there's a lot more Reach Lords running around now. I feel slightly safer. Slightly safer. Right, let's keep on moving down here. Yeah, we're seeing a, we're seeing a lot of them just, just now coming back. That's, that's a good sign. So hopefully our next campaign is actually going to be pretty fucking decent. King's Landing has been besieged by the Stormlands. Awesome. That's exactly what we need. Fuck Tumbleton. Forget about Tumbleton. You need to go save King's Landing. I like these guys. I like the Stormland guys. And it's not like Dragonstone, who's basically eliminated. Well, I take that back. They're doing all right. They're doing all right for Dragonstone. They haven't been eliminated yet. So that's actually great for Dragonstone, you know, 200 days into the game. They just made peace with the Pentos. All right, good for them. Um, Let's see. Are there any lords? Home here. Ooh, just 60. Just 60 troops. I'll take that battle. I will take that battle. Loom burn, baby. Loom burn. Come get me. Ooh, hold up. Okay. All right. Wait a minute. Nope. Not looting anymore. Changed my mind. Um, hmm. 98 and 60. That's a bit much. That's a bit much. If it was any of them individually, I'd take that fight. Even the 98. I'll do a 1v98. It wouldn't really be a 1v98. We've got like 70 some troops. But I'd take that fight. But not 1v, you know, 160. That's a bit much even for Amelia Rain. Alright, let's um in case. Let's hop over here. Maybe get one of these Drox. Yeah, Drox hasn't been raided. That's a little more isolated from everything else. Oh my god. Having reach lords that actually, you know, have more than 40 troops in their armies? What is this? Damn it, they did manage to take Tumbleton back. Actually, boys, wait a goddamn second. Tumbleton's going to be weak right now. Tumbleton's going to be really weak. Right? Oh, there's an army. Oh, 170? I take, I take that back. Tumbleton is not weak right now. Um, Let's renew it for another month. This is great. This is great. We're making like two, a little over two grand a month right now. Um, And, and most of that is thank, thanks to the mercenary payment. Um, gank back the line broke. Oh, rip. Yeah, I think we want to. I think we're happy where we are right now. Let's go ahead. Go burn. Come on. Come on. Big money. No whammies. Tohor and Dragonstone made peace. Tohor and the Westerlands. Oh no, that was a crucial ally. <gasps> Crucial allies of ours dropping out. You hate to see it. Oh my god. More of our dudes already getting captured by the Westerlands. Feels bad. Gonna have to rescue them again in between episodes. I'm, I'm Honestly, at this point, guys, I'm just planning on doing that from here on out. Like, before every episode, just going around and trying to rescue all the lords just because it's we need it, man. It's bad otherwise. Alright, cool. Got that. Slaughter some of the cattle. <laughs> Actually, we need to kill one more. Come here, boy. Thank you. All right. Let's go ahead and get out of here, then. Uh, let's go to Old Town. I feel like we haven't sold there in a while. I actually don't know if we even have it. Uh, that might have been the place I bought an Enterprise in between episodes, actually. We'll head down there. We'll check out our army. I'm sure we have some dudes that have leveled up since then. Look at this. Look at this, 2,500. Not too bad. Uh, all right. A Westerlands Lord actually got taken prisoner. Two Northern Lords got taken prisoner by the Westerlands. So, yeah, this mercenary payment from the Reach is, is the only thing keeping us in the positive right now. 
So it's actually very nice. All right, this oil press at Mir is actually somehow losing us money right now. We need to correct that. We need to change that. That's not good. Hello. Broken men. They faster than us. 6.7. Oh, yeah, they are dusting us. Okay. That's a castle? Oh, I thought High Garden was an actual town, but I guess not. No worries. We'll keep on going. I, I'm not even that scared to lose this army, guys, because I did a little bit of scouting over in uh, Essos, a.k.a. turned off the fog of war, and there are already pirate groups with like 150 prisoners right back where we got the last one. So I'm not, <laughs> I'm not worried about us losing this army. There will always be more for us. It's a pretty good helmet. It ain't, got sh it ain't got shit on our helmet. It's pretty good nonetheless. Um, and we just, oh, God, our armor is just so fucking OP, guys. It really is. I mean, the only thing better is for us to go from thick to reinforced or lordly, I suppose. It's seriously the only way we can improve at this point. I, I don't think... I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. I, don't, I just don't think there are that exquisite cabbages. Seriously. <laughs> what is that? Like the little shitty, like... Uh, Salads they give you at, at fancy restaurants. You know, the ones with like, oh, this one's fancy. It's got purple leaves in it, not just green. Um, yeah, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I think this is like the top, the best armor in the game. The best. I suppose we still need a good horse. We still need a good armored horse, of which we're not going to find any here. I think we have to go to the Vale for that. We could actually afford one right now. But I'd, I think I'd prefer to get the Valyrian Steel Sword first. Yeah, definitely. All right, so what do we got here? Hold up. Do we... Whoops. We do not actually own land here yet. Okay. Is it profit? Oh, yeah, it's profit. 676, that's pretty fun. Good. That is pretty great, actually. <sighs> whoa, whoa, whoa. 608? For uh, Ironworks, that's only 3500 It's a third the price and almost just as much. Yeah, we're going to do that, actually. We're going to do that. I mean, it would take a stupidly long amount of time for it to... Uh, <laughs> for it to be... For it to equal out. And for it to be actually more profitable to do the dye works instead. Like, I'm trying to think. So it costs 6500 more to do the dye works. And you what, you get maybe 65 extra gold a week? Yeah, it's 100 weeks. It would take two years in game for that to be more profitable. No, no, we're definitely going to chill the ironworks. Awesome. God, this is going really well. These episodes don't normally go that well, guys. <laughs> uh, let's see. Somebody wants us to go to his keep, Brightwater Keep. Um, where? Well, I think we're going to be missing this one because I'm not seeing it immediately. And I. Do not give a shit enough, because it's at a castle. So it's not like there's even going to be a tournament. Yeah, sorry, that's going to be a no for me. We need to, actually, I'm, we're going to go to Mir. Uh, we need to go to Mir and see what the fuck's going on with our oil, uh, what is it called? Oil shop, whatever. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to call it. Uh, oil refinery. That, that's definitely what it is. They had refineries back in this day and age. But yeah, I mean, for the past little couple months, in game, it's only been giving us like you know a hundred gold a week, which is already pretty shitty considering how much we probably paid for it. Uh, but for it to actually go negative, yeah, that's not cool. I'm not a fan of that. So we need to talk to this dude and see what the fuck's going on. Oh, da, 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 da. all right. The crew is a superstitious bunch, and you forgot to have the ship sprinkled with wine before you left the port. The soldiers are muttering about bad luck. What? I gave them ale. I gave them fucking it. Are you seriously? You're still pissed? All right, cool, dude. Cool. All right, let's look at our oil press. You, master presser. I'm gonna talk. Uh, let's go over the accounts. All right, it, it says we should be making 164 coins a week. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, we're going to give them one more week. Give them another week. If they do good, if, we, if we're in the green again, all right, 
fair enough. We'll keep you. But I swear to God, man, you start losing me more money, I'm going to be pissed. I'm going to be a little pissed. Uh, that's the other thing. We're actually starting to make quite a decent amount of money off the, uh, the Iron Bank. Um, we're getting like 750 a week off that now. We got like 300 or uh, got like 30,000 in the bank. It's not bad. It's actually looking pretty good. Oh, hold up. Can we get really good armor at Kohor? I know you can in a world of ice and fire, I'm pretty sure. What about this mod? Is it worth us taking a trip over to Kohor? It might. Check out these different guild masters here. Hello? Thank you. Um, do. 154. That's not bad. Negative 100. Not great. Negative 30. Negative 82. 150. 160. Hmm. I know I said we were saving up money. I know I said we were saving up money. But this will help us save up more money in the long run. All right? Does that make any sense? I'm trying to do the right thing. Trying to be smart here. We got some cell sword men at arms here. This is going to be a pretty cool fight. Oh, oh, here we go. Here we go. We're going to let them. We're going to let them take out the. Or maybe not. Ah, fuck it. We'll just fight them. Um. <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna fight him. All right. Uh. All right, cavalry, chill the fuck back. I don't want you guys charging alone. We're gonna have them charge in, and then do I have that many archers? Oh, we we have nine archers. That's actually not too bad. It's a lot more than I thought we had. All right, we're gonna put them right here, so they can just shoot at them. Uh, weapon orders. Okay. Oh, these guys actually look halfway decent. What? Who are these guys? What the? Excuse me, what? Oh, shit. Did we bite off more than we could chew? I'm just worried because we're not one shotting them. And Amelia packs quite the fucking punch. Alright, they're worth 144 XP. They're good. They're not great, though. I guess they just have some decent armor. Probably gonna lose a few trips here, but that's a few troops here. That's not too big of a deal. We're in SO, so it's easy to find prisoner parties. We can always stock up, take out one of those pirate groups. Oh, horse going down, horse going down, mayday, mayday. Alright, we're just gonna get it off it before it gets lame. Thank you. I still need to try that, that theory I have out where if you were to dismount and then remount your horse right at the beginning of battle that it wouldn't get lame because the mod would no longer consider it yours. I have to test that out. I'm not sure if that, that would actually work out. I need to try it. Come here. Damn it. All these guys are on like 10% HP. Alright, at least they're not actually running away. They're just trying to surround us. Fuck, excuse me. Horseman. Horseman. What were you... Dude, that dude just tried to stab the sun. Shoot for the stars, my friend. Can't blame you there. Ooh, armored Bravos. The badass two-handers. Watch, he's about to die. All right, we're, we're not going to let him die. Wow, this guy's good. Who's this? Who the fuck is this, actually? Well, Lance is Spearman. That right, makes sense. Lance's troops are always pretty good. I've always handled themselves pretty well there. I'm proud of them. That's pretty good. Nice. Uh, one more. Uno ma. Who's gonna get him? There you go. Oh man, the halberd. Oh man, vicious. Just vicious. I love it. Yeah, we did pretty good there. Really lost two troops against 30 pretty decent enemies. Now, admittedly, we took out half of them, but still. I'm a fan. Um, We can even afford to kind of upgrade some of these guys, right? Um, Mounted Reachman Sergeant. I guess that's where we want to start going up so we can start getting some knights, right? Only one guy leveled up and all that. Really? Now we're going to share it with the men. Hello. Hello. We haven't had good loot pile in a while here. 
I forgot, man. Essos is nice, man. Essos is good if you're trying to make some money. Get, get started. Alright, go ahead. You want to sell off all that? I don't think any of our heroes are that great yet, so yeah, I might as well. I made fifteen hundred for that. It's not, it's not bad. It really isn't bad. Um, what was I thinking of? Oh, we need to try to sell off a couple of prisoners. Never know, might see a hero here. Sell sword, man at arms, carver. Flesh so fine, so fine to tear, to gnash the skin, skin to strip to plate. So nice to plate the strip. So nice, so red the drops that fall. What are you? Okay, well, it is late at night, so I am not going to scream that, but <laughs> blood so red, so red, so sweet, sweet screens, pretty, sc what the fuck, man? Carving it, carving it, carving Can you hold a sword? I'll hold whatever you want me to as long as you get me out of here. Give me a cleaver to carve, to carve, to carve. Help me get home, please. Well, on one hand, you can think of this one or two ways. As an optimist, as a pessimist. Now, pessimists might say that we just hired a serial killer into our army. An optimist would say we just got a troop who's nearly immortal, basically immortal, you can't kill a hero, and is very, very motivated to kill our enemies. I'm going to say we're, <laughs> that's what we did. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man, that guy, uh, he's a little scary. I want to see what his uh, stats are. Carver, huh? Oh, he's a level one? Level three. Decent. With ten power strike at level three. What the fuck is this guy? Oh, man. Yeah. He, uh, he's gonna be good. We need him to get his strength up so we can actually start giving him some good armor, but, um, I am a fan, and he has a Dothraki cleaver. That's actually gonna do some work, man. It's actually a pretty good weapon. All right, man. Um, uh, yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna do well here. You're gonna do well in this army. I got a good feeling about you. Right, let's keep on moving. Uh, sure, we'll get a little bit of honor and some renown. Sure, cheap hunter coins. No problem there. Let's, uh, let's head over here to the, uh, to the Pirate Peninsula. Right, that's what I'm dubbing this area, because that's really what it is. And, look, alright, here we go. Alright, 50, 50 pirates, 64 prisoners. What are, what are, what is our max size? Oh. We should probably save this, right? We could, because we'd only be picking up three of them. We could save it. Yeah, we can save it. We, we, we're only missing three troops right now. We don't need that. We'll leave them. We'll leave them be for the time. Instead, we should probably get into some fights here. I, I want to see if we're. Let's see if we can get to one more fight to end off the episode. And I want to. I want it to be against a Westerlin lord. And so my plan is. Oh no. The Stormlands are taking Tumbleton. I mean, it's better than, I guess, nobody had, or than the Westerlands having it. But damn it. Not exactly what I intend. All right, well, we're going to plunder and raise this. I mean, we'll at least get our, we'll at least get the money from our oil press there. And they're, they'll, honestly, the Stormlands will probably be better at uh, keeping it than uh, we will be. So let's see if we can entice just a single Western Lord to try to fight us while we're raiding this. We can go ahead and fight him um, on a foot battle. We'll be pretty good. And well, I guess we're just going to be making money. Yeah, and that's the other option, <laughs> is we just get away with looting all of it, and we make a bunch of money. Honestly, either one's good. Either one is good. Go ahead and slaughter this herd real quick. Thank you very much. Sorry, all the vegans that watch my uh, videos. Oh, hello. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, wow, they came in. They stopped it? They actually stopped that siege? Whoa, look at this. They only have 37 troops ready to go in Tumbleton right now. All we need to do is wait for that army to leave, guys. Once that army leaves, we can go in and take Tumbleton for ourselves. Oh, if we can make this happen. Oh, this would be sick. We gotta go in. We gotta go in now. We gotta try it. Oh, I have to wait for the siege to officially be over. Uh, 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 and, 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 and. Go away, siege. They're not sieging anymore. 
people that were sieging it are now prisoners. Look at them. Stop it. They're gaining more troops. I mean, even if there's 78 troops, we'll, we'll take that fight. That's fine. Come on. Stop. Wait. The siege is done. The siege is done. There we go. All right. Let's go in. Who, who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Oh, they still only have seven troops. Fuck that guy. 32 hours? What the fuck? No. Oh. There's no way we're going to get away with it for 32 hours. There's no way. All right, well, we got to give it the old college try. And the second we see them coming towards us, we do. All right? That's what's going to happen. I'm ready. We're gone. We're gone. Not even worth it. Not even worth it. Not even worth it. Huh, all right, well, that's valuable information. Um, that apparently sieging castles or towns takes 32 hours just to build the ladders. That's actually a good thing to know. Um... All right, let's go to Ashford, sell this off. We'll try the idea we had. What is this? Uh, some tasty wild turnips? We'll eat them. And nothing happened. Okay, cool. Um, nice number 2,500. Seriously, guys, we're making a decent amount of cash. Making a decent amount of cash. We'll try our idea with, with, with the rating one more time. Hopefully, we can attract a lord. Um, who is this? Oh, ooh, Hedge Knight. And Armin Bravos, well, on second thought, this might instead be, oh, they're faster than us. They are a lot faster than us. Yeah, I figures we have a lot of infantry and a, and a much larger army. We need we need to get some pathfinding at some point. We, we do need to improve that, honestly. It's kind of bad right now. All right, so let's see. Luckily, they're rich as fuck here, so they can afford all of this. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Cool. Nice little 2,500 right there. That's our weekly wage. We just doubled our weekly wage right there. One raid. One easy raid. So let's try one more time. See if we can make it happen. And otherwise, that's fine. We can go ahead and just end it off there. We already did, we already did plenty of fighting this episode. And it went well, so I don't want to jinx it. And seek out a fight that we potentially can't win. All right. Loon burn. All these guys, man, all these guys are going to absolutely hate us. If we ever end up owning any of these castles or any of these villages, man, they're going to fucking hate us. It's all we've been doing is just raiding them. That's fine. They don't have to love us. As long as they respect us. Um. Well. <sighs> just going to let us keep getting away with us. What does that mean where like the old ladies like screaming is like they can't keep getting away with that or with or away with this? That's what's going on right now, man. Um shit. Alright. <laughs> okay. One more. Let's do one more. We're, we're kind of pushing our luck now. Kind of pushing our luck a little bit here. Honestly, even worst case scenario, we get like two lords coming on us. Ooh, take that one out of context. Sounds a little weird. Um, we have two lords attacking us. You know, 200. Honestly. Here we go, here we go, here we go. This is what we want. Exactly. Boom. How many we got? 142. Oh, you gotta remember, a lot of those are, are villagers. Take this battle. We'll take this battle. Oh, all right, boys. Chill, chill right here. Chill right here. All right. And let's put our archers up there. Fucking scrubs, to be honest. I mean, a lot of them are peasants, so <laughs> makes some sense. But no, all these guys look like absolute trash. They did fuck up our horse a little bit, though. To be honest, let's just dismount from the horse and just duel with them. I think that should work out fine. And there goes our horse. All right, well, could have been worse, technically, probably. Oh, these guys can barely even touch us. Look, this dude actually has trash units. It's terrible units. Easy, baby. Oh, 50. All right, someone did 15 damage to me randomly. Was it one of the archers? Probably one of the archers, actually. It's either that or one of the swordsmen getting a lucky stab. What's going on over here? Why is... Go, thank you. Oh, there we go. Took out Roger Rice's Oh, he's actually... Hold up. 
We had 22 relationship with him? Yeah, but, oh, he must just be an honorable guy, that's why. That's, that's stupid. If you, I feel like if you're an honorable lord, you shouldn't get butt hurt over getting beaten in one-on-one -on -one combat. Or, you know, like this, where it's 20v1. I mean, sorry, man. Sorry that I'm a badass and I'm, I'm, I'm kicking you and all your troops' asses single-handedly. Can you imagine being these archers? <laughs> you see, like, 20 infantry go after just one single person. So you turn around and look at the rest because they're like, oh, they got it handled. Then all of a sudden you get stabbed in the back because that one person managed to uh, not only survive, but kill all of them. Yeah, dude, this guy has... What, what are these guys? Like, just Westerland Scrubs? Is that actually their title? Real Lancers! Oh, it's this guy with the Real Lancers. No wonder we're running through these dudes. Oh, man. The Real Lancers, the most rip-off rip units in the game. Come here, boy. Actually, I don't even want them to charge in, I think. I think I just want them to group together. I can handle this fight by myself. I don't I don't need to, you know, needlessly lose troops. Come on forgetting that I'm playing on max difficulty, it's just that we have amazing armor. <laughs> I keep on thinking this feels way too easy. What a, I need I need to up the difficulty, but it's already on max. Oh no, we just lost one of our mounted guys. All right, yeah, take it back. Troops, get the fuck out of here. I got this. Let me handle this by myself. I don't need you guys losing your life for no reason. And then. Feels like, have we not killed 140 of them yet, man? I know some of them were peasants, you know, their lives are like, you know, three peasants to one actual life, but come on, gotta be at about 140. This last wave at least? Maybe? Don't you turn your back on me. Look at me, acknowledge me. I'm gonna stand right in front of you until you do. Get out of here. Nope, there's another one. That stab to go off. All right, good stuff. Wow, it just started pouring outside. What the fuck? It kind of sucks. It's been doing this the last couple days, man. We had—I don't know if I—I I mentioned the last personal episode. We had like a huge tornado warning go off. I don't think it was actually a tornado warning. I think it was just a very severe thunderstorm. But the worst part is, like, all the rain and wind is, like, kicked up. Like a, I don't know, like some pollen or some shit. Because, um, man, all of a sudden, my, uh, like, I don't really have allergies. Like, I don't have allergies. But, for some, man, I'm just been, my nose has been running all day. And it's not like I'm sick. Because, like, it's, it's all clear. You know, it's not, it's not colorful. Which is what it would be if it was, like, a cold or something like that. No, it's just, I don't know, just kicking up some, some shit that was stuck on the ground, I guess. I don't know. That's my guess. For whatever reason, I've, I've never noticed it before, but it's like, if I were to drink, like, a really cold glass of water, it would stop. It would just, like, stop almost immediately, which is, seems like it'd be kind of counterintuitive, because if your body gets, like, you know, it's like, oh, all of a sudden we're getting water, we have more fluids, let the waterworks continue to flow, but no, that's not what, I don't know, did, did the opposite. I don't know what's going on with that. Strange, strange anecdotes from VMP late at night. <laughs> what can I say? Good battle, though. Nonetheless, only lost 10 units. Took out 140 of them. Wow, really? You're not 28 right now? That's pretty good. You're not going to give me anything for that? That's some bullshit. At least we got another one of them. Um, give me Mounted Riverland, Sergeant? Are those guys even good? I feel like they aren't. So give, just give me the Household Guard. Oh, they'll be fine. All right. Pretty good. Mounted Richmond. How we got? I'll just go this way. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Well, continue raiding. You're doing great. You're doing great, champ. Okay. Well, eh, we're not trying to fight more people. That's enough.
that's enough. Another 75, well, I'm all right. We, and plus, we've already got nearly a full inventory. So we'll go ahead and sell this off and call it a day. Oh, wow, this guy is faster than us. All right, well, let's just get to Red Lake then and tell him to go suck it. Yeah, fuck off. All right, we're good. Cool, cool. Ooh, the North took Winterfell back. Awesome. All right, well, maybe the Westerlands won't just steamroll the entire map. Yet. We'll see. I'm sure they'll get there soon. And we'll go here instead. Ooh, there's a tournament going on. I'll probably fight that in a sec here. Oh, forget. What is it? What else do we actually want? Hold up. Give me back the cheap stuff. Give me back the cheap stuff. That's that's exactly what we want for our troops. That'll work. All right, give me another basket of plums. We're being nice to them. There we go. Another 2,500. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Very, actually, I mean, this this is one of the best episodes to date. Made a lot of money. Got, got a decent amount of fighting in. And we didn't, like, lose any battles. We actually did a good job. Um, and it, with the Stormlands joining the fight against the Westerlands, with the North starting to take back some of their land, they took back Barrowton, they took back Winterfell. I'm starting to think, and maybe, just maybe, It'll take the Westerlands more than another 100 days to conquer the map. Just maybe. So, anyways, guys, this weekend, stay tuned. Saturday, Prophecy of Pandora is coming back, baby. Probably going to do a live stream on Friday because I have the whole day off. But until then, as always, take it easy, guys.